Welcome to Dashing Dish. Today's show is all about simple, clean eating snacks. I'm going to be sharing my favorite snacks that are quick, easy, and absolutely delicious. Clean eating Cheez-It crackers, a yummy one minute muffin, no-bake cookie dough protein bars that will satisfy any craving, and for something sweet, my healthy spin on a childhood classic, Thin Mint Crisp Cookies. Simple and yummy healthy snacks are on the menu today. Today is all about snacking and one of my absolute favorite snacks is a one minute muffin. You can make this muffin in any kind of variation that you'd like. So if you wanna do a blueberry muffin, raspberries, if you can think of it, you can pretty much add whatever flavors you like. But this is the muffin base and I'm gonna do a cinnamon swirl version today because that's my personal favorite. I have one fourth cup of oat flour in the bowl. So oat flour is just old fashioned oats. You can make it in a food processor or a blender right at home, very simply. So I have a fourth cup here in the bowl and then to this, I'm gonna add one half teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. So I love this recipe because you can see how simple it is to make. You just dump a few ingredients into a bowl and then you have a one minute muffin. I have two tablespoons of applesauce and one egg. And I'm just gonna stir this to combine it. And I love snacks. I am all about snacking. I mentioned that I'm like a Girl Scout and my whole family's called me a Girl Scout pretty much my whole life. Yes, I was in the Girl Scouts, but that's not really why they call me a Girl Scout. Really, it's mainly because I'm always prepared, they say. So I always have snacks and all kinds of treats with me just in case someone gets hungry. And so that's what I'm always thinking. I'm, I'm always thinking who's hungry and who can I give a snack to? Who has you know gone a while without eating? And so oftentimes in between meals, I like to have something small. So this one minute muffin is perfect. A lot of times people think, you know, snacks just cause you to overeat and you're eating more throughout the day. You should just space out your food. But what I find is that if you go too long without eating in between meals, you end up losing all sense of when you're hungry or really full because you're so over the top hungry, then you overeat at a meal time. So having something small in between meals is a great way to really sense your true hunger and fullness when you're eating a meal. So I just sprayed one oven safe mug or you could do a small bowl with cooking spray and then I'm gonna pour the batter that we mixed into the bowl into the mug. And I use a spatula to do this so I get every last drop into the mug. And then to make this a cinnamon swirl muffin, I just have a mixture of one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener and a teaspoon of cinnamon that I mix into a little bowl here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top of the muffin. Now this muffin is ready to go in the microwave for 60 to 90 seconds or until a toothpick comes out clean. For most of my childhood, I was a Girl Scout. I loved everything about it, from camping to making new friends. And as a kid, what's not to love about earning badges and selling cookies? The most important thing I learned about being a Girl Scout was how it taught me to be prepared. We learned everything from survival skills to critical thinking and relationship building. To this day, my family still calls me a Girl Scout because whenever I'm leaving the house, whether it's for a vacation or a short trip outside the house, I'm always prepared. One thing that I'm always prepared with is snacks. 
I figure you never know when you'll need food, and since I'm feeding people for a living, you better believe I won't let anyone go hungry. Oftentimes when we think about snacks, we think of crackers, chips, muffins, highly processed and packaged foods. And although they may taste good for a moment, they're not really satisfying. So we're gonna make some really healthy and satisfying snacks today, and we're gonna start with my homemade cheeses. What could be better than a crispy, cheesy cracker made at home? To make the cheese it crackers, I started by microwaving two cups of shredded cheese with two cups of almond flour in a medium bowl. I microwaved the two together for 60 to 90 seconds or until the cheese began to melt. I removed the mixture from the microwave and stirred in one half cup of plain Greek yogurt. Next, I added one egg and one half teaspoon of salt and I mixed until all of the ingredients were fully combined. Once the ingredients formed a ball of dough, I placed the dough on a piece of parchment paper and then I placed another sheet of parchment paper on top and used a rolling pin to roll out the dough. This created a thin layer of dough for the crackers. I used a pizza cutter to cut the crackers into small, even-sized squares. Then I pricked the tops with a fork to get the classic cheese cracker appearance. I placed the parchment paper with the crackers on a baking pan and placed it in a preheated oven set to 425 degrees. I baked the crackers for five to 10 minutes on the first side, and once they started to turn lightly golden brown, I removed them and flipped them over in order to bake them on the other side for about five to 10 more minutes. And these crackers get extra crispy as the days go on, so they're perfect to have around for a snack throughout the week. One of the most common questions I get asked is, what makes up a healthy snack? First, I always recommend keeping snacks at or below 200 calories, just so they aren't replacing an actual meal, but keeping us satiated between meals. Second, I recommend looking for options that are higher in fiber and protein and low in sugar. This will help keep your blood sugar balanced and prevent a midday crash. And lastly, when it comes to snacks, some of the best can be found in nature. God gave us perfectly portioned and ready to go snacks that are wrapped in many fruits, veggies, and nuts. Coming up next, I make my favorite nutrition bars. That's right, no-bake cookie dough bars are not only healthy, but also delicious. And for a snack that tastes just like dessert, thin mint crisp cookies. Anyone getting hungry? The recipes from today's program are available at dashingdish.com. With thousands of delicious, clean eating recipes, hundreds of easy to follow workouts, plus a custom grocery list and meal planning tools, there's plenty to love about the Dashing Dish membership. Start your free two week trial today using code CTBN at checkout. Find everything you need for your journey to health with a Dashing Dish membership. Use code CTBN at checkout and start your free two week trial today.
One of the most common questions I get asked is, what makes up a healthy snack? Especially when it comes to protein bars, that seems to be the most popular snack question that I get, is how do I pick a healthy snack protein bar? So I'm gonna make one of my favorite ones that I make at home all the time. I make them almost weekly and store them in my fridge or my freezer for up to a few months. So it's great to have them on hand. I have one cup of oat flour here in the bowl, and I'm gonna add to this 3 fourths cup of almond flour. Now, oat flour and almond flour are my absolute favorites to use, and sometimes I combine them in a recipe, especially for the flavor of the two, so you could always just do the full thing in oat flour and just swap it out for the almond flour, but I like the taste of the two, and I also really enjoy the healthy fat of the almond flour in this one. Then one fourth cup of sweetener of choice. Now we're not adding a lot of sweetener because we're gonna also add some maple syrup to this recipe. Now for this recipe, I love it because it's no bake cookie dough protein bars. So if you like cookie dough and you often find yourself tempted to eat the raw cookie dough when you're making cookies, you're gonna absolutely love these protein bars. It has all of the flavors of cookie dough Plus it has no actual protein powder, but they're absolutely packed with protein. They have about 10 grams of protein per bar, all thanks to this special ingredient here, which is peanut flour. So peanut flour is one of my favorite flours in addition to the oat and the almond flour. And it's one that I use oftentimes when I'm replacing peanut butter in a recipe. Peanut flour is basically just peanuts with the oil taken out. So it's extracting all the fat and the calories of the peanut butter. So you get all the flavor without the calories. So what's not to love about that? Then I did two tablespoons of actual peanut butter. And you need a little bit of healthy fat to help bring moisture to these bars and also help them combine. So that's why I did just a little bit of peanut butter. One fourth cup of maple syrup, and you could do organic maple syrup, or you could do monk fruit sweetened syrup. Now I'm just gonna stir this together, and I'm gonna wait until a dough forms, and you will wanna add a little bit of water, but what I like to do is, whenever I'm making a no-bake snack, so like no-bake bars or no-bake balls, I'll wait to add the water until I'm almost done stirring so that I can kind of gauge how much to add. And you wanna add just about a tablespoon at a time, just until your dough comes together. Add just a little more. Now this adding the water is just kind of like adding salt. You wanna go slow and you wanna do a little at a time because you can't take away the water, but you can keep adding more. So just until a dough forms. And sometimes you have to get in there with your hands and that just helps you to really gauge how wet the dough is. Now oftentimes what people ask me when it comes to snacking is, is it good for you or should you stay away from snacking, especially when you're trying to lose weight? And I always suggest that if you're gonna have a snack, make sure that it's packed with protein and fiber. So this is a great recipe because it has 10 grams of protein, but it also is high in fiber and healthy fat. And the reason that healthy fat, fiber, and protein are great to have as a snack is it keeps you satisfied in between meals. So it helps keep your blood sugar stable, and it helps keep you feeling like you aren't looking for some sweets or some salty chips or something that isn't as satisfying as a snack. So that's why I like to have something healthy around the house to snack on. So I'm seeing that this is coming together pretty nicely as a dough here. Now you have two options here. You could either place this on a piece of parchment paper, form kind of a rectangle log, and just freeform the bars using a knife, or you can take a little baking pan, so one that I have here. It's a little smaller than an eight by eight, but eight by eight would work as well. It all depends on how thick you want your bars to be. And you just kind of form it into the baking pan. And you can see how this looks just like cookie dough. So it looks absolutely delicious. And you can even put a fun spin on these and you can add some sprinkles. These are great to serve to kids because they don't have protein powder in them, but they're still high in protein. 
And also another really good tip for getting these bars to smooth out is adding just a little bit of water to your hands. And that helps them smooth out the top. Okay, so now the fun part comes, adding chocolate chips. So this is where I would come grab Maddie and have my two-year-old help me in the kitchen. Adding the chocolate chips. Of course, you could measure these out, but why would you do that? That takes all the fun away. You can just sprinkle as much as you want over the top. I find that I like a, just a little bit of something sweet with every snack. So adding just a few chocolate chips is a great way to get your chocolate cravings fixed and also have a satisfying snack. So I'm just gonna kind of push these in. Then I'll pop these bars in the fridge for about 15 minutes or longer. You could even leave them overnight just until they're firm enough to cut into squares. I'll never forget when I went through a really difficult season when I had Maddie. Not only was I exhausted from the lack of sleep, I was also traveling, speaking, and launching a new book, which eventually took a toll on my health. I remember hitting a breaking point when I was holding her in my arms, rocking her in the chair. And her and I were both in tears. Just a few months into parenthood taught me more about dealing with the unexpected and unplanned, and it continues to do so today. Being a wife and a mom are two roles that I feel honored to have, yet they can certainly be refining. There's so much that can happen in a day that leaves me thinking, well, that wasn't in the plan, but it makes me realize my desperate need for the one thing that never changes, Jesus. His word, his heart, and his promises never change. They are a rock that we can run to despite the uncertainty of the day or the season. I grew up as a Girl Scout, and not only did I love selling cookies and earning badges, but I think my favorite part was definitely eating the Girl Scout cookies. And what could be a better snack than Girl Scout cookies? Homemade version, that is. So my favorite kind were Thin Mints, and still to this day, I absolutely love them. So we're gonna make a healthy, grain-free, gluten-free version with just one gram of sugar, and they couldn't be simpler to make. Let me show you how I made them. To make the dough for the cookies, I combined in a large bowl, one and three fourths cups almond flour, one third cup cocoa powder, one third cup sweetener of choice, one teaspoon baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. I mixed to combine, and then I added the wet ingredients. One egg, and two tablespoons of applesauce. Then I stirred until a dough came together. I added my dough onto a piece of parchment paper and placed another piece on top. And then I rolled out the dough until it reached a 1 4th inch thickness. I lift off the top piece of parchment paper and set it aside. Using a circle cookie cutter, I cut circles out of the dough and placed it on the prepared baking sheet pan. I placed the cookies in the preheated oven and baked them for about 20 to 25 minutes until the cookies were firm to touch. I added 3 fourths cup of chocolate chips into a medium bowl. I microwaved the chocolate chips for about 60 seconds, stirring after 30 seconds. Now all that's left to do is coat these delicious Thin Mint cookies with a chocolate coating. Of course, that's the most important part. So I'm just gonna take my chocolate coating that we made and I'm just gonna take a spoon and kind of swirl the chocolate on with the back of a spoon. You could also take a cooling rack and you could have it set up so that you can kind of drizzle the chocolate over the cookies. And sometimes it's a little bit easier, but I like to use a spoon and just coat each one individually. Then I place the cookies on a piece of parchment paper so that they can cool and dry and the chocolate won't stick. And these look absolutely decadent. What I love about having a sweet treat for a snack is sometimes you just need something sweet. So having one of these Thin Mint cookies around is the perfect way to not only have a healthy snack, but also 
kick that chocolate craving in a healthy way. Coming up next, it's time to put the healthy snacks to the test, and I'm using the Dashing Dish Crew as my testers. Will they taste the difference? plans, chore charts, calendars, automatic reminders. Most of us are pretty good at making plans in our personal, home, business, and social lives. But have you ever thought about how you're being intentional to grow spiritually? Whenever I'm feeling like I'm lacking in my spiritual growth, I can almost always trace it back to being too busy in other areas, which means I have let my personal time with God become less of a priority. One powerful way I've learned to challenge my growth in God, even in a busy season, is to take a bite-sized portion of my daily routine and dedicate it to time spent with Him, in addition to my morning quiet time. I find that the more I purposely plan to place my attention on the Lord throughout the day, the more my heart is sensitive to hear His voice in exchange. Although we may have many plans in our hearts, there is no greater reward and return than when we revolve our day around the one who gives us our very life. Well, as you can see, the Dashing Dish crew loved my healthy snacks. I think I might have to make a few more batches to feed everybody. But it goes to show that with just a little bit of planning, you can make healthy snacks at home and still stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. For more recipes just like these, head over to dashingdish.com where you'll find recipes and more to nourish your body and soul.